let's walk through our secondary data assignment together. First thing you do is you go to census.gov, scroll to the bottom of the page, click on American Fact Finder, click on Guided Search, Get Me Started, and click on I'm looking for information about people. Next. Click on the plus sign next to age and race. Click on age and it will be added to your selections. Click on education. Click on educational attainment. Click next. Geographic type. First we want county. Then state. Scroll to Twin Falls, add it to your selections. And then I want State and Idaho, add to your selections. Click Next, Next and click on the top item. This brings us sex by age by educational attainment for the population in both Twin Falls and Idaho for those 18 and older. You can see that it has a lot of detail here. I'm going to start by narrowing the scope so that it's easier for you to see on camera. It, this isn't a necessary step that you take, it's just so that I can show things more clearly in the video. First I'll get rid of margin of error, and then I'll delete the areas or just remove them from view for those areas that aren't going to be applicable to what we are working on today. As an FYI, if I make a mistake, I can click on Show, Hide, Rows and Columns and that will bring the rows back that I've hidden, and I can click on them to bring them back into view. Less than ninth grade, I can remove that. Nine to 12. You don't need to watch all of this. I'll be right back when I've clicked everything and got it set up. Okay, so I have things cleared out a little bit so I don't have to do scrolling and that way you'll be able to see as we go along. There is one additional set of information that we'll want to put in. I didn't list it in the assignment, um, but you will need the information. So in order to determine percentages, you have to have um, the total number of people to work from. So the total population of men in Twin Falls is 29,139 and the total number of women is 318 excuse me 184 31184 there we go and then for Idaho we are looking at 606,842 and for women, 629,841. So that will help you when you do percentages. So let's start by dropping in our numbers. 18 to 24, HSG is high school graduate, SC is some college. So high school graduate for men, 1588. And for some college, 1287. Uh, for women, 18 to 24, 1044, and 2068. And for the state of Idaho, high school is 34074, and for women, 
high school graduates at the state level, 23442. Some college, 29, 117, and some college for women, 33906. And I'm just going to continue on until I have all of my data points entered. No sense having you watch that. I'll be right back. Okay, with your numbers entered, now it's time to figure out your percentages. So what percentage of men, 18 to 24, are high school graduates in Twin Falls? So to determine that equals high school graduates divided by total male population in Twin Falls. So 5%. What percentage of women equals 1044 divided by women's population? And that's 3%. State of Idaho equals 30 or 34074, total number of men, divided by total population of men in Idaho. So 6%. We're a little under the national. What about for women? Equals high school graduates, total women. 4%. Okay. What about uh, some college? How do we rank there? Equals some college, still divided by total men, and equals some college divided by women. That's for um, Twin Falls. Now let's do for the state. Equals some college divided by total male population. Equals some college divided by Go ahead and finish each one of those. Uh, just as an FYI, though, you will want to verify your numbers. I may or may not have entered them correctly so that I can see who actually makes the effort to look the numbers up. Anyway, um, fill out the rest of this. And then, let's see, I'm just going to enter some percentages at random. So given that those, these are pretty good, but um, given that these are absolutely randomized as they were put in, uh, just make sure that you do not follow them. But what I want you to do is to narrow your segment. So select an area and choose it as your target audience for your marketing plan. So you need to have at least 11% population. So you might select men and women ages 18 to 34, because that totals at least 11%. You might prefer to total um, some college 18 to 24. So you're trying to get them to go on and finish their degree. You might look, you might prefer to look at the state of Idaho and you might say, okay, it's not quite 11%, um, so 18 to 24. What if I were to look more specifically, 4.7? Uh, yeah, that's not going to cut it because you really don't have enough of a demographic to use. Um, so you might make the argument, I'm targeting men and women 18 to 24, but I'm, all, I'm also going into the late 20s, so about 18 to 30, so that they are my target demographic. And that way I'm picking up part of that whatever number would really be in here. So then you can also 
target as additional data points, you can go to About CSI, and you can go to Facts at a Glance, and look at the different data that's in here. That's not the one I want. This will do. So you can see that 18 to 24 is a very large demographic for us, for the college. And then you can also see that a fair number of people live either in districts so they're local or out of district. So we have a fair number that are not local to the college, so they would be attending online. So if you chose a demographic that was state level, then you could argue that approximately half of students are outside the immediate area of, of Twin Falls, so they would be attending class online. Um, so there's a lot of things you can look at, a lot of ways you can target. So depending upon what you choose as your demographic, you find data points to support that. It might be the age of students. Maybe um, you Google um, reasons why students go to college or reasons why adults go back to college. And you pull up information and you start to, to form a thesis statement that says, okay, this is my target demographic because X, Y, and Z. And then you find data points to support the, the target market that you selected so that you can prove that, hey, there's enough population here, there's enough information that is able to back up what I'm saying. So I'm going to use this chunk of the population to target to. If I were to try and say, wait a minute, I'm just going to target everyone. Well, then you don't target anyone and everyone ignores it. If you were targeting me for um, classes, you would probably go more toward either degree completion or um, personal enrichment classes. And I would pay more attention to classes that were advertised along those lines. If I were advertising to someone 18 to 24, 18 to 30, somewhere in there, then I would be looking at advertising for entry-level exciting careers that have a future. So it really depends on what your goals are as far as your marketing is concerned. And you want to make sure that everything you do ties into that, whether it's the survey questions you ask, whether it is how you analyze your data, or whether it is how you're going to determine what channels you're going to use to reach out. I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you have questions, and I'm sorry for the headaches regarding this assignment.